Bro, tell me why I woke up this morning to no notifications, bro. I woke up, immediately checked my phone, and had no hoes. The only thing on my phone was a settings notification. And the thing is, I don't know why I was expecting for hoes to be on my phone because I have no hoes, so like nobody could text me. But for some reason, I was still expecting for somebody to be on my phone. Bro, I saw that shit and immediately went back to sleep hoping for a different outcome when I wake up, and I did not get that outcome. That's such an ass way to start your day. I've been asleep for eight, nine hours, haven't checked my phone that whole time, and you telling me for that eight, nine hours, nobody texted me? Like, damn, that shit have you ready to kick. Nah, I can't say that because of YouTube, but you know what I mean. That shit have you ready to give up. And that has nothing to do with this video. This video is about Drew Walls. It's basically a part two to my last video. And if you haven't seen my last video, or if you don't know who Drew Walls is, he's basically just somebody who does day in the life TikToks. And he's gotten really popular off of them. He'll show himself making breakfast, and then going to the gym, and then going to the store. And it doesn't sound that bad while I'm explaining it, but once you see the videos that he makes, you'll see why I'm complaining about him. Everybody on Twitter and Instagram is always bullying him. If you go through his comments, it's just straight bullying, bro. There's no positive comments. Now it's a little bit better because of what happened, what I'm about to talk about, but before all this other shit happened, it was just straight bullying. But the problem is, we bullied him too much, bro. We got him too popular. We took it too far. All publicity really is good publicity, bro, because my man now has an NFL sponsorship. We really bullied this nigga into a bag, bro. We bullied him into a check. We made this broke-ass nigga rich, bro. We changed his life. Nobody's looking at Drew Wall's videos and is saying, you know what? That was interesting. Let me go ahead and follow. That was a crazy-ass video. Bro, nobody cares. If they're following him, it's to bully him, bro. But somehow the NFL has their eyes on him. Like, what's even happening, bro? These days, anybody can get a bag. It doesn't matter what you do. There's a chance that that shit will work. Because there's no way that this nigga made these little lame-ass TikToks and got rich off that shit. And I know it sounds like I'm hating, but I don't give a fuck, my nigga. I'm a hater. I'm hating on this nigga. Fuck this nigga, bro. There's no way he got this bag this easily. I will be the first person to tell you that he does not deserve no NFL check, bro. If you go to the TikToks where he's watching football, you can tell that he doesn't actually watch football. First off, he be super close to the TV. Nobody watches TV that closely. And then whenever he's cheering or clapping his hands, there's nothing happening on the game. It'll be like the game just coming back from a commercial and this nigga will be clapping. And that's not even the worst of it, bro. The worst of it is that Tiana Trump tweeted this nigga talking about some, let's make a movie. And if you don't know who Tiana Trump is, I can't say exactly what she is because of YouTube guidelines, but she's basically just a professional hoe. She's a hot dog eating champion and she's a meat connoisseur. She's a meat enthusiast. And the thing is, Tiana Trump is popular outside of the industry type shit. So she can really low key put you on to some shit. And this nigga is getting tweeted by her talking about some less fuck. But I think her tweet was a little too much for him, bro. My nigga was nervous as hell because he edited his tweet three different times. Maybe he thought we wouldn't know that he edited the tweets, but like we all can see it. The first time he said, ain't no way. Then the first time he said, ain't no way with eye emojis. And then the third time, just eye emojis. Like, bro, none of the things you said were good. You changed your shit three times and still went 0 for 3. For real though, shout out to him, bro, because he had to ignore a whole lot of hate to get himself this bag like he low-key really did earn it because he really did keep going even though niggas was on his dick so i can't even hate on that but so much now if you've made it this far into the video you're probably subscribed to me so let me go ahead and talk to you one-on-one -on -one for a little bit let's go ahead and get intimate i know i know i've been very inconsistent and i haven't posted in like two weeks and even before my last two videos i took two weeks off before those two as well i know i know i need to get back on my shit and i will i'm gonna be consistent from now on it's just I've had a lot going on in my life. I just moved into a new room. I'm in school. You know, it, life is getting in the way. From now on, we are back to at least once a week videos. I'm gonna try to do twice a week, but sometimes there's just nothing going on. So it depends on how much content, content I have, but at least once a week. Also, as you can see, I'm in the car. The reason for that is because I got roommates and I don't really like recording and knowing that they can hear me. Also, I be yelling, they be trying to sleep. They be trying to do homework and shit, so you know, I don't wanna bother nobody. This might be the new setup, I'm not sure yet. It depends if I like it or if I don't like it. Let me know if you like it or if you don't care, if you mind it at all, because you know, I want your opinion too. Also, before I end the video, thank y'all for 2,000 subscribers, man. I know I'm really late. I know it happened a while ago, but still, I wanna thank y'all because I never said anything, man. I'm finally getting paid from YouTube as well. So thank y'all so much. I would not be in this position 
without each and every one of y'all especially y'all who comment on every video i notice it i try to respond each time but sometimes i really just don't see it but thank y'all so much man i really love y'all boys but yeah man that's about it for the video thank y'all so much for watching make sure you like and subscribe share with your friends and i'm gonna catch you in the next one man peace out